Okay, so in this tutorial, I will teach you how to um, get your renders to line up with your line drawings all the time and uh, very quickly. So first things first, you want to get a view that you like, set it up so that it's um, it could be in parallel or perspective. And then you want to go into the named views window and you can get that by clicking here, going into set view, the named views. I usually like to dock it right down here. Um, now below here, what you want to do is make sure restore aspect ratio is selected. This is very important. And then while you're at it, just select auto update thumbnails as well. Once you've picked your view, you just click on this little save icon, give your view a name. And uh, now if you've ever moved your camera by accident, if you just double click here, it'll reset. And uh, what this check mark, the restore aspect ratio does is it'll save this aspect ratio for, um, for in memory so that you can always come back to it in case. Um, and that just helps you with lining up the renders and the uh, make 2Ds if you decide to do any additional ones. Um, so for example, if, it, if I shrink this down to this and it's cutting out right now, if I double click this, it'll remember the aspect ratio and it'll set it accordingly. So I can uh, I can go back to like maybe this, double click that, and now uh, oh, that's too perfect. Maybe if it was like this, if I double click that, you see how it kind of like shrunk. Uh, it's just maintaining that view. Um, so once we're here, once we've got a saved viewport, I mean, yeah, saved view, you want to do your render. And I need to set up my VPN. And VPN set up, so V-Ray should open right now. Yeah, there we go. Just going to set up my uh, render settings. It's going to be a quick render, so I'm going to keep my uh, width and height low. But the uh, most important step here is to set your aspect ratio to be match viewport. Very important. And then what you want to do is set your lower resolution uh, to a dimension that you want for your uh, Render. I like to say 2000 is a good low resolution for uh, to create. You can go as high as a like I, I like to go super high on this if I'm especially doing some like final renders. But uh, the, for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it on 2000 so it'll render faster. Once you have 2000 here, just click on this uh, update button just to uh, double check, make sure it's all nice and set. And uh, let's do the render. Okay, so this isn't progressive, so I'm just going to stop this midway uh, when I'm happy with the uh, results because I don't need it to complete. And this is taking too long, so I'm just going to say, let's give it like one more second. All right, I think that's good enough, so I'm just going to save that. And once the render stops, we can move on. Okay, the render stopped. Uh, now we're done with the rendering part. Now we can do the make 2D. Uh, so just making sure we're on this same view again by double clicking that, select your objects, type in make 2D. And the most important step here is to make sure viewport rectangle is selected. What this will do is in addition to your uh, the lines for your borders and edges, It'll create a line around the viewport so you can use that to line up your renders afterwards okay once that's done let's go to the top view to find our make 2d and now we can export that set this um, I'm just going to rename that to test it's going to be an ai file because if we're going to open up an illustrator we save it in the desktop your uh first your model scale doesn't have doesn't matter it's just um you have to set it to what you think is best for your project. Let's open up the file we just created in Illustrator. And um, if this ever loads. Okay, let's ignore that. Now I'm just going to reset set my page size to landscape eight and a half by 11 and our, our images here. So now while holding shift, I can scale this down and I can make it fit perfectly within this 
page. And now if you look at the layers in Illustrator, you'll see that the viewport rectangle has its own layer. So you can turn that off in once you're done with it. You don't want to get rid of it because if you ever change your render and you want to put in another one, it'll be easier to line it up with that. Um, so now that I'm, I've placed this correctly, I don't want to mess this around, like move this around while I'm putting in my image. So I'm just going to lock all of them. Going to create a new layer for the render. I'm just going to put it all the way in the back. This is very important. Make sure you have a, a file open here. I mean, a layer open here that's free and it's not locked because when you bring in your image and drag and drop it, it might open it up in a new tab. Okay, so once the image is here, it's in. What you want to do is line up the top left corner with the top left corner of the viewport rectangle. So that looks good. And then the same thing with the bottom right. Um, again, make sure you're holding shift so it's easier. That looks good. It helps to have smart guides enabled while you're doing this. And now I'm just going to lock this so it doesn't show. Now, if you look closely, all the lines are perfectly lined up to your render. And uh, yeah, that's that's how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.